Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps us grow the show. If you find content that we put out that is helpful, informative, or interesting, or something new that you didn't know about, please share it with others. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. Today we're going to be talking about 10 breeds of chickens that will lay lots of eggs for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. So. For for many people, the main incentive of raising backyard chickens is mainly for their eggs and in some cases for their meat. So it's important to know which breeds to choose. So what we've done is put together a list of our favorite top 10 egg laying chickens and then we'll add an extra one at the end. Number one, the hybrid breed. There are many different hybrid breeds and one of the most common ones is the Golden Comet. Hybrids have been bred to lay huge amounts of eggs while only consuming small amounts of food. This makes them cheaper to feed than other breeds. You should expect a typical hybrid to lay around 280 eggs per year. These eggs will be medium sized and brown colored. A hybrid's plumage are normally a golden brown color or if we're speaking on the Golden Comet with soft white tail feathers. Their characters tend to be tough and resilient chickens and rarely ever turn broody. If you're looking for an all year round egg layer that's easy to look after, a hybrid chicken is definitely the pick for you. Number two is the Rhode Island Red. Rhode Island Reds originated from America and are known as dual purpose chickens. This means that you can raise them for eggs or meat. They are one of the most popular backyard chicken breeds because they're tough and lay a lot of eggs. You should expect a Rhode Island Red to lay about 250 eggs a year. These eggs are brown and medium sized. Contrary to their name, Rhode Island Reds actually have brown and black feathers, giving them a dark appearance. They are more than capable of looking after themselves and are well known for being tough. The Rhode Island Red is actually also a very friendly breed and is commonly picked by first time chicken keepers. Number three, a leghorn chicken. So anyone who's grown up in the 50s or 60s will know what a leghorn looks like from the popular TV show, Foghorn Leghorn. Leghorns were brought to the States from Italy back in the 1800s and have made the perfect backyard chicken ever since. You can expect around 250 eggs per year. These eggs will be white and medium sized. The plumage of these chickens are interesting. They have a full white body and a large thick red comb. While they would still make an ideal pick for a beginner, anyone looking to tame these chickens should not choose leghorns because they are skittish and just kind of leery in nature. Number four is the Sussex. The Sussex breed is a dual purpose breed, much like the Rhode Island Red, which means you can raise them for eggs and meat. The eggs are, you should expect around 250 eggs a year. The color of eggs will vary from brown to creamy white. The plumage of the breed has eight different colors and a combination of those eight different colors. The most common common type of plumage is being a pure white body with a black neck and tail feathers. They are actually a real calm breed and would happily free range in a garden without destroying it. So if you want a tame breed, that would eat from your hand, then this is a good option for you. Number five is the Plymouth Rock, or also known as a Barred Rock. They're great for first time chicken keepers. They lay eggs roughly once every two days, typically. You can expect around 200 eggs per year. These eggs will be small to medium size and are a light brown color. They are predominantly gray with white stripes wrapping around their body. These Plymouths are large birds and are much better suited to the free range lifestyle. And they're friendly birds who also can be easily tamed. Number six is the Ancona. It's a small hen that originates from Italy, but is now much more common in the United Kingdom and the United States. It will lay around 200 eggs a year, and these eggs will be small white eggs. It looks very similar to the Plymouth Rock in feather appearance, except it's a smaller bird. They're not necessarily a breed to be picked as a pet because of being skittish, and it's important to have their feathers clipped because they're notorious for flying out of chicken pens. Number seven is the Barnvelder. Barnvelder is a cross between the Dutch Landry and the Asian jungle fowl. It's native to Holland and is noted for its glossy feathers. It's capable of laying around 200 eggs per year. These eggs will be small to medium sized and a light speckled brown color. The Barnvelder is predominantly a black chicken with brown tipped feathers. It's a great garden bird that's much better suited to a garden pen. They're not great flyers, so you won't necessarily need to worry about clipping their feathers. Number eight is the Hamburg. It's a chicken native to Germany and one of the most attractive chicken breeds. You can expect around 200 eggs per year 
and these will be small to medium eggs and that will have a white glossy shell. Their plumage resemble the coat of a Dalmatian and are white with black feathers. Hamburgers are also known to have another color variation that is black with gold tipped feathers. They definitely need a lot of space to roam around and do not do well inside a chicken pen due to the fact that they're known to be aggressive. So free range is the way to go. And number nine is Moran. Morans are another dual purpose hen and are renowned for their vibrant dark brown eggs with exceptional meat quality. You can expect around 200 eggs per year and their eggs are vibrant dark brown and are medium sized. Their colors and their feathers are similar to a Plymouth Rock and are mostly dark gray with white flutters. Morans don't really require much space to roam and are pretty gentle chickens. However, they're not really tame, so they wouldn't necessarily make great pets. Number 10 is the Buff Orpington. They originate from Kent, England, and you can expect around 180 eggs per year. They do have a tendency to go broody during the summer months, which is why they lay less than the other breeds on this list. Their plumage is a golden yellow color and have a thick layer of feathers. They're one of the tamest breeds you can get and they will make a great garden pet. You can train them pretty easily to socialize and eat from your hand. The bonus one that we're gonna list is the Easter Egger. They're a hybrid breed and they're very well known for their blue eggs, as well as how many eggs they can lay. So you can get these blue eggs and not only that, but you'll be able to receive a good amount of them. They can lay about 250 eggs per year and these eggs range from medium to large and they can be any Anywhere from greenish blue color to a bright light blue. Easter eggers, their feathers range in color variations. They tend to be brown and have flecks of other colors on their feathers. They're known to resemble a hawk, thus tend to be a favorite free range chicken. Easter eggers are also known for their quirky beards, which often contrast in color from the rest of the chicken's body. Easter eggers have a reputation for being a friendlier bird. With that being said, their temperament can span widely across the spectrum, which also attributes to their ability to evade predators. And now we're going to list some extra ones just that those who see this video and are familiar with you know egg laying chickens they're going to recognize some of these breeds as well if you're new to being a backyard chicken keeper then this may surprise you so these breeds are the americana the Australorp, the Delaware, the Yusko Oils, Feveroles, the Golden Laced Wyandotte, the Isa Brown, the Jamerson, the New Hampshire Red, the Red Sex Link, and the Well Summer Chicken. Now, it's important to keep egg production high. This is something that's important to you as a backyard chicken keeper. And the three things that determine how many eggs they lay is age, diet, and how much daylight they get. So we're not really in control of age. That's just something that happens over time. And it is a known fact that as a chicken gets older, their egg production will decline. So let's focus on the other two, the diet. So it's important for chickens to get around 20 grams of protein every day to help keep them laying eggs. To ensure your chickens are also getting plenty of protein and nutrients, make sure you feed them layer pellets. Layer pellets have been manufactured to contain all the key minerals, nutrients, and ingredients that that hens require to lay eggs. We also recommend other treats that you can feed them. Some people are familiar with the black soldier fly larva. In fact, oven dried black soldier fly larva is a great calcium supplement for chickens as they use their own calcium in their body to produce eggs. So it's a great supplement to keep their eggshells hard as well as keeping their egg production high. Now daylight, chickens actually need 14 hours of daylight to lay eggs. So it's important that you let them out as close to the sunrise as possible, even if it means getting up super early. Some chicken farmers will use artificial lighting to keep their chickens laying eggs. However, it can be abused because too much exposure to artificial daylight keeps the chickens from having their bodies recover because laying eggs does take a toll on them. Well, that's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for joining us and we'll talk to you soon.